Hey guys and welcome back. In this video you're actually going to get to see me in action on the tennis court where I play a set against Cameron. Now if you've seen the last couple of videos that I've posted with warm-up drills and games that you can do with a partner you will have met Cameron already. I've worked with him for a number of years. I was one of his coaches when he was around six years old and I've been a part of his tennis ever since. More recently he's joined our coaching program as one of our team's coaches and this year he's actually gone off to university to study medicine at Exeter Uni. We're lucky to have him back over the Christmas break as he visits his family, so I thought we'd make the most of it and film a few videos and get him playing some more tennis again. You'll see when we get into the set that both of us are a little bit rusty. We haven't been playing much tennis recently with lockdown in the UK prohibiting lots of tennis activity, but we were lucky that we could get on court during the Christmas break and have a good battle. We film the whole set and I'm not going to edit out any points, all I'll do is crop out the time period in between change of ends and in between points so that you can enjoy the whole set without having lots of breaks in between. I'm thinking of doing another edit of this set in a few weeks time and potentially editing down two games to do some technical and tactical analysis over. If you think that would be a good idea and if you think that would be of interest to you then leave a comment below and let me know which two of the games that you would like me to analyse. And at the end of this video I'm going to summarise the set from my point of view. Let me know what you think of the set in the comments below. Let's take a look. Number one as well. That's going to make the highlight real. That's what I get. Yeah. 
Three one.
Nice. What's up, Daddy?
Championship point cam, you could pull out something magnificent. Yeah, it's rather warm. Cam's, Cam's warmed me up. Right, where to take all. Cam and I had lots of fun playing in the set. It was tough conditions today, it was pretty damp, pretty wet, and a little bit windy as well. And as I said at the start of the video, neither of us have played much tennis in the lead up to this. So go easy on us in the comments. But hopefully you got to see a little bit of how I like to play, and a little bit of how Cam likes to play. From my perspective, I was quite happy with the way that I played, and after speaking to Cameron after the match, he was fairly happy with the match as a whole. However, he knew that there were various parts of his game that he could have played better, and there were other parts of my game that he could have exploited a little bit more. You will have seen pretty much all the way through the set that I like to dominate with my forehand, so quite often if I get the opportunity to, I will run around my backhand to hit forehands. You'll notice that Cameron was trying to get it into my backhand size, but quite often his balls would float slightly too slowly and slightly too centrally in the middle of the court, allowing me to run around it. Although my forehand is my strength or my weapon, my backhand is pretty reliable. Because it has been my weaker side for a number of years now, people do hit it to that side quite a lot, which in turn has allowed me to develop some real good consistency and actually effectiveness with that slice. I use it to move my opponent around the court to keep the ball low after it's bounced, so that my opponent has to pick it up with a little bit of height, giving me time to run around and hit my forehand. I know that Cameron usually has a pretty big serve, and I think today with the weather conditions being wet and windy, the balls were slightly heavier than they normally would be, meaning that they travelled slightly slower. This gave me a bit more of an opportunity to see Cameron's serve coming at me, and to have a little bit of extra time to make a better return. And today I did return pretty well. I managed to keep Cameron back behind the baseline, which neutralised the point straight away, and sometimes even gave me the upper hand. On a dry and sunny day, I think Cameron's serve would have been a lot more effective, and actually he would have won a lot more of his serving games, and made the match much closer. In my serving games, to be honest, I didn't serve as well as I can. I was hitting quite a lot of slice serves, where I haven't played a match in quite a number of months, I didn't want to go big and flat with my serves, not only for a timing issue, but I didn't want to get any injuries. So my slice serve can be effective, and I think my aim in my serving games 
was just to get myself into a neutral position so that I could use my forehand again. I didn't serve to Cameron's backhand as much as I had liked to, but I think because I was winning my returning games, actually I didn't feel as though I needed to as much. So in summary, overall, if we were playing on a warmer, sunny day, Cameron's serve would have been a bit more effective. He was hitting his serve quite flat, which actually sat into my comfort zone. So I think if he'd hit his serve with a bit more variety, maybe hitting a few slices and a few kick serves in, that would have taken me out of my rhythm and I probably wouldn't have returned as well as I did. I also think if Cameron could have hit more balls into my backhand, a bit more deeper with a bit more pace, actually I would have felt a bit more pressure. I think I had too many opportunities to hit forehands in this set. Anyway, I could go on for longer talking about tactical and technical analysis, but like I said at the start of the video, I'm thinking of editing down two of the games from the set to do a proper technical and tactical analysis for you. If you like the idea of this, then let me know in the comments below and let me know which two games you'd like me to analyse. Let me know what you think of my tennis and Cameron's tennis and if there's anything that you saw in this set that resonates with you and the way that you play as well. I hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you get alerted when I put another video out. Take care and I hope to see you soon.